Hi everyone. So today's video is just a bit different from the usual. You probably saw by the thumbnail, but I plan to give you a history of this place. If you're like me, you enjoy seeing extreme befores and afters of things. So stay tuned. You're going to see that in this video. I'll be honest, I normally don't really enjoy videos like this as much where I just stand and talk and kind of show you things, but I'm kind of excited for this one because I think it'll just once again show me what can be done to a property. Um, just reminding me you know of how far we've come we're still not finished like we have so many projects we still want to do in the future with this property but i'll go ahead and show you kind of how far it's actually come and keep in mind as you watch this video this home was built as an amish home things were done a bit differently before starting the tour i want to give a shout out to my parents for having that vision of you know building something back here in the woods i know when they started thinking about this people basically told them they're crazy like that's almost impossible um, this land is filled with rocks and everything was wooded. They had to take down a lot of trees, uh, but in the end it just turned out beautiful or we love it back here. We have lots of privacy and wildlife and um, it's really just a dream property here for our area if you ask me. But of course I'm a little biased, you know, this is my home. I'm kind of winging it with this video, not sure where I'm going with it, but in my mind I thought I'd kind of take you room by room, uh, kind of show you the befores and the afters probably add some voiceovers in as I go being that I'll probably forget to say some things until I'm editing and then I, when I see stuff in the pictures I'll probably want to talk about that so uh, let's start out in the living room that's where I am right now so ever since you've known me here on YouTube our living room has been very neutral you know with almost white walls a color called Darling Dove and all of the trim is white um, lots of you know natural woods the aged oak looking floors uh, maybe a splash of green and blue here and there, but of course it didn't always look like this But going way back to when I was just a teenager here at home This is more what it looked like now. I know this picture is really grainy I had to scan it with my printer, but this is what a typical Amish home looked like uh, you know you had your homemade curtains um, very basic and simple, but I remember we thought we had the most beautiful house when this house was built. Fast forward around 13 years later, John and I were married. We had the two boys. Ephraim was only two weeks old and things began to change in here, of course. Back then, in those days, I was really experimenting with colors. As you can see, you probably guessed each of these colors did not last long. I just kept changing them. I slowly went from a primitive country to more of a modern farmhouse look. And the way you see it now, is the longest it's been um, ever since I painted these walls probably around oh I want to say 10 to 12 years ago I've kept them this way so they are actually in need of a fresh coat of paint I did add the shiplap to some of the walls which that got spectral colored paint then but the rest of the walls the drywall is still the darling dove color I've had it for years I never want to forget that the Etsy shop actually started out in the back part of the living room at first I had a partition set up kind of separating it from the rest of the living room and then later on I just kind of combined everything together without the partition this is a room that I honestly don't really grow tired of but sometimes I would want to change in here and we're thinking about new furniture in the near future so I may get the urge then to repaint and just give a whole new look to this room I do want to mention the only thing that we really changed in here besides painting the walls and I added the shiplap was the flooring we added this floating floor it's not a real wood but it's a more of a snap together floor and it's actually held out well over the years I like the look of it like I don't grow tired of it so moving out here into the kitchen, this is probably the room that has changed the most, largely due to the fact that we actually removed some walls in it. Uh, the beams you see behind me, uh, when we first moved into this house, we tore out the pantry walls that actually used to be a separate little room contained there within the beams. And that is why the flooring is a different color. We weren't able to match anything with the initial you know, floor that we had put in here. And then we wanted that look of beams and we have not regretted it since. Sometimes I do miss having a pantry space, but then when I see those beautiful old beams, it kind of makes up for it. I'll never forget the night when we were working. I think it was around 1 a.m. during the night. The boys were in bed already. We were down here working and I had to lift the one end of the beam, you know, put it up on top of the post. And I tell you guys, it was all I could do. Um, just the thought of having, I was hard up enough to have those beams in here. That's kind of what made me do it. Otherwise, I don't think it would have been possible. Like it was so heavy, I had to lift that up onto the post so John could, you know, fasten it. And I kept thinking, you know, this 
will look beautiful in the end. I can do this. And I really had to talk to myself, but we got it done. And these beams come from an old barn that used to sit in Bunker Hill. For you locals, you may remember uh, seeing that barn, but once they tore it down, somehow we got a hold of a couple of the beams. And I think they're just beautiful. I never grow tired of them. I think it adds so much here to our kitchen. The other thing that's really changed a lot here in this kitchen is of course the, the cabinets. And I probably showed you guys some of these before, but uh, just amazing what paint can do. Once again, going back to when this house was brand new and this is the one and only picture I could find. When we moved in, we changed the flooring and then tore out those walls, you know, added the beams. And I didn't initially paint the cabinets right away, surprisingly, probably just didn't have the nerve to do it. I ended up painting the countertop first. This is the one and only picture I could find of it. One day I decided I wanted a black countertop. I used black spray paint and painted it. And honestly, you can imagine it didn't hold out the best. Eventually I did paint the cabinets a tan color. Not quite sure why I didn't go with white to begin with, but tan they were. I ended up installing this beadboard for the backsplash. I painted it using a paint and glaze method. I also ended up installing some in the dining area. As you can see, I experimented with color also in this room. Uh, green at one point, uh, lots of tans, primitive country, reds. Somewhere along the line, I made this island, which we're still using, surprisingly, and it has changed color a few times. Back in the day, I was really into the antique look, so I did a crackling on these doors and drawer fronts, where you actually use you know, paint and glue to get that cracked effect. Not sure of the timeline, but eventually I did end up tearing out a cabinet that was to the left of the stove and kind of moving it over into an L shape. And I added a wood top, painted it black. Eventually I did give it more of that marble top look by adding some white and gray paint to it. And it's surprising that that's still what we have today. It's something we definitely want to replace in the future, just haven't gotten around to it. Sometimes I feel though it's one of those things that you just kind of get used to. It actually looks pretty bad and then we don't even think about it because you know we use them every day. Eventually I covered up those cabinet doors that were had the cracked paint, covered it with wallpaper and strips of wood that kind of made it look like a raised panel and we're still using those. Again that's something we want to replace eventually. So moving on into the bedroom and the bathroom, years ago the opening for the bedroom wasn't here. It was actually off of a hallway that went you know, behind the other side of the wall from the stairs here. It's kind of hard to explain, but you actually access the bedroom going through the living room instead of the kitchen here. And then my parents, before they moved out, they actually kind of combined the hallway and the bathroom to make a larger bathroom. And then that made so that the, the bedroom opening is off of the kitchen. It's not very practical, honestly. I sometimes wish it wouldn't be there because there's so much traffic going through here when you're trying to sleep. But it's okay, you kind of you know get used to it. And many of you have seen the bathroom process. Uh, some years ago I had redone it. Uh, you know, paint at the floor, the cabinets. I really like our bathroom, like I don't grow tired of it. But if there's one thing that I still want in there, it would be to tear out the tub, like the old tub, and put in a clawfoot tub. I think that would be so neat. Surprisingly, the bathroom didn't get a lot of paint over the years. I basically just had it this one color, this blue color, the walls. The cabinets were white already. And then several years ago, I painted the cabinets green and I stenciled the floor. You may remember seeing those videos. It's probably been maybe close to five years, actually. One of the best things I ever did to this house, if you ask me, um, that floor is still holding out nicely. Um, I get asked that a lot, but definitely paint your floor if you don't like the look of it. This was a vinyl floor. At one point I had the bedroom painted green, but then painted it white after that, and it's been white ever since. And yes, that headboard is an actual old door that I converted into a headboard. I did change some of the bedding colors over the years. and I added this faux shiplap, which is actually just marker lines made to look like shiplap. Had also done a video on this, so I'll try to link that down below in the description box. This is also a room that I'd love to give a new makeover to soon. 
Another little area I want to show you is the stairway behind me here and excuse the loads of laundry that are on the steps ready to be taken up. Um, it's just kind of a catch-all space when you have people upstairs you know you just put it on the steps for them to take up instead of just taking it up myself but um, it often kind of looks this way but right now it's a little worse than usual but um, anyway some years ago I had redone this area and I'm kind of on the verge of doing something else with it it's been this way for a number of years and I'll show you some befores here and these steps were of course that orangish oak before I painted them I really like how all the white kind of opened up the space being that it's kind of a small narrow space but I feel like it needs something some sort of character so maybe one of these days I'll get around to working on it I don't have a lot to show for the upstairs at this point uh, not a whole lot has changed although I did end up you know painting everything like this whole house had that orangish oak trim uh, so I did paint that over the years and I'll maybe I'll throw some pictures on here of the boys rooms but we do have some plans for the upstairs even as I'm filming here things are starting to happen especially with the bathroom and I'll make sure to show that process here on my channel uh, but that will be for the future so let's move to the outside I probably won't do my talking out there it's pretty cold but I'll show you some really cool before and afters I'll go ahead and just show you the outside before and afters of the different areas and then I also want to do that for the inside just comparing you know how it used to look to how it looks today sometimes it's fun to just see the difference from all the different angles most of the before pictures you're seeing are when the house was fairly new and a lot of the landscaping still hadn't been done I really wish I had more pictures of how it actually looked when mom and dad you know lived here towards the end mom had some really pretty gardens uh, she has a green thumb let's move to the front porch and the back deck when we first lived here we had a bed swing for our front porch it was comfortable but it did take up a lot of space I used to host garden parties back here on the deck and it's gone through a lot of different looks already at one point I had the floorboards painted and I always tried to build the structures back here to keep the Sun out at one point I had a burlap hanging from my structure and then I used landscape fabric, ended up putting lattice up for some time too. And presently, of course, the structure isn't even there anymore, but it kind of served the purpose, you know, it kind of filtered the sun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't my usual, you know, tutorial makeover sort of video, but I think it was fun and hopefully inspiring to see how much can be changed in a property. And I feel like we didn't just spend a lot of money to do it. I mean, things weren't probably done properly, maybe all the time, but um, I think it still works and it provides a cozy home for us. And that's what counts. Let me know down below in the comments, would you have not changed some of the things that we did or would you further change something? I'm always open for any ideas. As always, I hope your day is going great. Have a happy new year. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.